with a sip of muscle and coffee. So today we are going to be talking about keeping a food diary. What does it mean? Does it mean that you're like, oh dear diary, today I ate blah blah blah. Well, yes and no. When it comes to a food diary, your food diary is, a lot of people use food diaries as a tool to track the calories and when they want to lose weight. So, yes, a food diary is basically for you to keep a record of what you are eating. So, in a lot of cases, people use it, as I said, to track calories. Um, also, it is, if you are finding that there are certain, suddenly there are foods that are becoming problematic, maybe you have an allergy or you have some kind of allergic reaction to a certain food keeping a food diary will actually be able to will help you to be able to isolate or to find out what exactly is your food trigger when it comes to the food diary it can also if you really want to be besides the other calories you need to be very specific in terms of your portion sizes because for instance if you're going to say i had a plate of curry how big is the plate? There are many different sizes of plates. So you need to say, you need to, what can even be helpful is that if you take a picture so that you can even show the size of, and then you need to put in exactly what is in your curry. So obviously if somebody's making a curry that has a lot of butter in it versus somebody who's making not as much butter or using the oil that comes off the meat in the curry, the calories would obviously be different. So it, in that case, you need, you need to be, you need to also assume that nobody makes food the way you do. So, for instance, if you're going to, if somebody says, do a food diary for me, write down what you're eating. Especially if you are cooking food, it helps to put down a list of ingredients to give some kind of idea as to what exactly is going into your food. So, it helps with the tracking of calories. So, if you want to lose weight, it also gives you an idea of what exactly you are eating, when you are eating. You may even pick up um, like triggers. When you feel a certain way, do you reach for a certain kind of food? Uh, you can even track maybe you are not getting in enough water and if you're not going to be drinking enough water then you're going to be sometimes when you feel dehydrated but you don't realize that you're dehydrated and you think you're hungry and you actually eat instead of drinking water. So food diary, do not think only specifically for calories and for fat loss. Yes, it does help in that, in that regard but it can also give you a clearer picture of what you are actually eating. You may may find that you think that you eat a lot of vegetables or a lot of fruits but when you actually look down at the look at your diary you'll be saying uh no i had like one apple mm, two days ago and then i had some juice and not, not not the best but that also brings me to another point you need to be extremely accurate and you need to say that i ate um an apple and then at 2 p.m. and then at 3 30 I had an orange and then at 4 30 I had a half a can of okay I had a half a can of tuna with a tablespoon of mayonnaise and five of those old grain or ancestral grain or whatever um what do you call those things provitas as an example so you need to be specific and also you can't say I had a cup of coffee what does that mean was it black coffee was it decaf coffee was it instant coffee was the cream it was the milk it was the sugar in how much sugar was in it so you need to be specific you need to assume that even though remember some people and the reason or something there's somebody that said i eat the same things every day but uh you may think that you do but actually you don't so that is why you can't write on memory write it down as you are busy eating if half was four i'm gonna eat this 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 write down half was four i eat this 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 so then if i add um a, cap, a packet of gummy worms at seven o'clock then write down and those 200 grams or how it would be the the packet of gummy worms were and also if you find that you're having a number of energy drinks or if you are smoking cigarettes or whatever whatever is going into your mouth you need to write it down so that the person that is looking at it can actually see get a clearer picture and I would advise that you at least to get a clearer picture of what you are really consuming, do it for about a week. It's, it's, it's a bit labor intensive, 
But what happens sometimes is when somebody's going to start a program and they know that somebody's going to be looking at what they're doing, if you give them three days, for that three days they may eat next to nothing or they may eat in a way that is so abnormal for themselves that you'll be like, oh, this is not making sense. You, you're eating so well, but the results are not there. So do it for about a week because there's somebody I spoke to and then they're like, every two weeks, or twice a month they like binge and then they have a lot of alcohol also you could be drinking in a weekend you could be drinking how much some people crazy can drink in a weekend they can drink maybe two weeks worth of alcohol or go on a serious bender and they're just drinking they're not even eating so alcohol also so if you are smoking if you're drinking energy drinks chocolates sweets cigarettes everything you name it you know, for the to say, Alice what Malice, everything. Write it down, write the time you, you wrote it down. And then to really give yourself, if it's not just about weight loss, maybe it's a food allergy or a trigger or something, you can even write down how you felt before you, you were like, oh, I was so stressed out and then I had a samosa and a cigarette and then I felt better, as an example. Then it will also, you will also find that when you feel start to feel a certain way, then you, you reach for a certain kind of food and that can also be extremely helpful. So until the next video, bye!